All righty, Kim, thank you to 648, everybody. And in the carport now, we are talking about this most popular video game in the world. It's called Fight uh, Fortnite. It's called Fortnite, and if you're like me, you have no idea what it is. <laughs> <laughs> but it can actually become a problem because apparently people are playing it a lot. Jason Carr is here to explain. Good morning. Talking about an immersive experience. Fortnite fever sweeping the globe. Many kids are glued to the game, and many say the great thing about Fortnite that led to its popularity is accessibility. And and the fact that you don't have to be a gamer or have fancy moves to be an expert. Fortnite definitely could be considered hide and seek with guns. Brian Saunders devotes a lot of time to the video game Fortnite. So I play anywhere from four to eight hours every day. I am 100% addicted to it. And he's not the only one. It's a hard battle to get it to turn off. I'm, I'm dating someone who's like addicted to it. Epic Games launched Fortnite less than a year ago. Now more than 40 million people play each month. Fortnite is free to play and available on PC, phone, and gaming consoles. In the Battle Royale style game with kid-friendly graphics, 100 players aim to be the last one to survive. <laughs> and video game creators and players are looking to leverage Fortnite's success. Multiplayer, online, social, the, the, these are the things that are kind of the key beats for the industry right now. So are your kids playing the game too much? Here are four signs it's becoming a problem. They're showing signs of obsessive behavior, acting completely preoccupied and often irritated when not playing. They have headaches and fatigue due to lack of sleep. In some severe cases, they let hygiene slip. Also see if they're locking themselves away for hours just to play the game. And by the way, gaming addiction is a real thing. Recently, the World Health Organization announced it would list gaming addiction as a mental health condition, describing it as a pattern of persistent or recurrent gaming behavior so severe that it takes precedence over other life interests. So that could be any video game for that matter. Sure, when I was a kid, I played hours of in television, baseball and lock and chase and wow, Atari. That guy and... said four to eight hours? Wow, that's oh, a man. long time. Yeah, it is. Playing video games. All right, get out there and play catch, kids. Exactly, <laughs> or hide and seek without guns. There you go. <laughs> like, he's like, it's like hide and seek with guns. I'm like, that just doesn't sound right. <laughs>